Oh no, um, we started hearing more and more, you know, uh, that um, certain parts of Holland had become liberated already and it became closer towards the West. So we started feeling better. And I know one evening I came back from uh, with some of the police people uh, from the motor brigade and we came back towards Rotterdam and in some of the smaller villages we saw candles in the window and candles in the window that meant freedom and then we started hearing the rumors that the liberators were very very near but uh, before Rotterdam was liberated still quite a few people got killed now because the Germans had a U-boat base there and before everybody withdrew and the Royal Marines came in, the Dutch Royal, no, the English Royal Marines and some Dutch were involved. Uh, before they came in, there were many clashes. And I still remember the tanks, the Germans driving out their tanks to, um, to uh, give in. Um, they started still shooting and I still remember being on the street and the father with a little girl was walking and it hit a little girl. Mm -hmm. She was killed at the last moment when we became liberated. And the Canadians, I, one very nice um, thing in my memory is the Canadians driving in to Rotterdam. There were a few boys uh, on, on motorbikes and uh, I was uh, then at, uh, at the town hall and we saw them driving in and they had a big uh, reception at the town hall uh, where they were received, very happy to be our, uh, our liberators. So later on, I took a few back to our home and my father had always hidden one bottle of gin, Dutch Geneva as we call it, and the boys were too polite to say they didn't like it, <laughs> so they had to drink. <laughs> but um, my mother was very sad. She said, I'm sorry, I can't offer you anything to eat because we just don't have it. So who came the next day, they came with a whole box full of rations to our house and with a uh, camp, a little Coleman heater, because we had no gas, no electricity, and it was not restored that quick. So they came with a little Coleman heater so my mother could cook our first real meal from things out of, tin, out of a tin egg powder, sugar, tea, and all their rations. It was a wonderful sight. How, how did you feel about the Canadians? When, how did you feel and how did the Dutch people feel about the Canadians when, when all this was going on? Oh, they thought they were wonderful. Why do you think it's carried on today? Like I was there in Holland on 50 years, at the end of the 50 years in May. And they were, everybody was singing and clapping and thanking the Canadians. Why do you think it it's lasted so long? If you had been five years under occupation, you f would feel that way too. You don't know what it is when your freedom is taken away and you can't speak out. And then liberators come and give you the feeling back you have a country again, even if you if your country or your city is bombed out, you still get a very good feeling. And maybe it's in the Dutch mentality, but we don't forget.